Hi everyone and welcome to Brave Pelvic Health. My name is Aline and the next exercise is called Child's Pose. So for Child's Pose, I will give you two alternatives. But the main principle is that your legs have to be wider than you would do in a yoga class. So what we want is knees wider than your hips and then we want you to lean forward. So I'll do it here on the side. We want knees wider than the hips, then we want to lean forward. We do know that some of us have the hips a little bit tight. If you feel tension on your hips, I want you to lift the child's pose and I want you to keep it here. Try to rest as much as you can. Make sure that you're not creating tension in your neck and then focus your attention on your tummy. So hopefully this position will help you to let go of your tummy. But we want to make sure you're also letting go of your pelvic floor. So squeeze for three seconds your pelvic floor. As you breathe in, I want you to imagine you're widening and creating space from the front to the back, widening your pelvic floor, widening your sitting bones and blossoming at the entrance like a little flower. And at the same time, hopefully you will feel like your tummy is melting towards the ground, like it's, it's creating space. And keep this position from 30 seconds to 3 minutes, ideally 3 minutes, as long as you don't feel too much tension increasing in your hips. After though, that time, just shake it a little bit and try to do it again. Ideally, we would like these exercises to be done twice a day. However, we are aware of your time, so just choose a time that suits you and just start doing it. Thank you very much. Remember, all the exercises should feel comfortable. If they don't feel comfortable, please contact.